address manager makes the process of leveraging your TFTP servers for use with your Pixie clients as straightforward as possible. In this video, we are going to configure DATP match class for Pixie clients using BlueCat devices. Let's walk through how to make that happen. Once you have your TFTP server set up, you need to do the following in address manager to configure your DATP settings and get clients pointed to the right servers and files. The first step is to create a DATP match class. So we go to the BlueCat address manager, click on IP space, click DATP settings, click new for new match class, type in the name, put a description, select match DATP vendor identifier, 20. I'll explain in the next step, add. So we we'll click on what we just created. And now we set the match class value. Again, the match class value has to be of length 20. So we we'll click new. As you can see, the length here is 20. Put a description, click on add. So the next step is to configure deployment options. Click on new, DHCP service option. The first option we're going to configure is the next server option. This, the next server is the TFTP server and you could configure the IP address or the FQDN, which is the fully qualified domain name. In this case, we're using the IP address. Add next. The next option is, is the file name, which is the image the Pixie client will boot with. In this case, That's the value, add next. The next option is to configure the set of lease times. So we're going to configure three lease times, the default lease time, the maximum lease time, and the minimum lease time. So first of all, default. We're using a lease time of 10 minutes because Pixie clients only need this address temporarily, and as such, do not require a long lease time. 10 minutes, add next, maximum lease time, 10 minutes, add next, minimum lease time, 10, minutes and add. Now that we have configured our deployment options, the next step is to configure the deployment role. However, we're not going to be configuring it here. It's going to be set at the network level. This has already been done. So we're just going to confirm. Click on IP space, go to the block, Click on the network, go to deployment roles. We see that a role has been configured and the server is named primary. We go back to the addresses tab and we scroll down to confirm that there is no DATP allocated IP address in the network, as you can see, only static IP addresses. The next step is to create the DATP ranges. We're going to have a small DATP range and a large or big DATP range. The small DATP range will be for the Pixie clients. As stated earlier, they only need the IP addresses temporarily and as such, there's no need to configure a big DATP range for them. 
So we'll click DATP ranges, new, give it a name, Pixie Boot, creating a small range. Add. Next, we create the non pixie boot range. As you can see, we're going to be configuring a wider range. The next step is to configure the deployment options for each range. So this is the non pixie boot range. We're going to explicitly deny pixie boot. So we say deny class member of, it automatically selects, but you can select on the drop down. add. Go back up one step. The next is now the pixie range. Deployment option, new. In this case, we explicitly allow. That is selected. Add. Now that we've configured the deployment options, the final step to be configured on BAM is to deploy it. That's the configuration to the server named primary. Deploy. DHCP, yes. Great, the deployment was successful. Now let's boot our Pixie client. You see it's booting. See the IP address. Great. It was able to Pixie boot and the Ubuntu OS is about to begin the installation process. Let's go back to BAM. Click on the network, check the addresses. We see that it, it got an IP address in the small range we created and the lease time is 10 minutes. Now let's put the non-Pixie client. So we log in. Check the IP. We see it picked an IP address in the wider range. Now let's go to BAM and confirm. First of all, we refresh. And then we scroll down. And we see it got an IP 144. It has a host name because the operating system is already pre-installed. And we see it picked the default lease time of one day. That's all there is to it. Visit bluecatnetworks.com to learn more.